press new at the top of the screen. Press the next button. Here you can enter the name you wish the VM to be called. Please select Microsoft Windows as the operating system and the version Windows XP. Enter 1024 as the memory. Press the next button. Make sure create new hard disk is checked and press the next button. Press the next button. Select fixed size storage and press the next button. Change the hard disk size to around 5 gigabytes and press the next button. Press the finish button to begin creating the hard disk and wait. Press finish to create the virtual machine. Click the settings icon at the top of the screen. Select System and Enable I.O. APIC. Select the Processor tab, enable PAE and X, and select the number of processors you wish to use. Next, select the Display tab, change the video memory to 64 megabytes. And make sure that 3D acceleration is not enabled. Next, select USB and disable the USB. Select serial ports and make sure the serial port is disabled. Now click storage, select the CD, press the folder icon on the right hand side, press the add button, browse to the directory you extracted the ISO, Press the open button, press select, and press OK. Press the start button to start the virtual machine. Wait a while. Keep waiting.
If this happens during the installation, go to the machine menu at the top and press reset. When the RuneScape site opens congratulating you on the successful installation of the client, please close it. When the Windows Genuine Advantage Notifications opens, press Next, agree to the license, press Next again, and wait for it to finish the install. This is what ensures your copy of Windows is genuine. Now uncheck show me the benefits and press finish. The installer will be in installing Windows updates. This may take a while. Click on the red X in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Select in the future do not show me this box and press yes. Select yes for the display settings. Now reset the virtual machine by going to start, shut down, and going to restart and pressing ok. This completes the installation and deletes any temporary files used. Congratulations, you are now ready to start potting using your virtual machine.